All right, uh, this tutorial is about how to play a game off of an external drive. I picked up a relatively inexpensive solid state external drive the other day. And uh, there are two things that are critical that you need to do as soon as you attach it to your computer. I'm running it through USB 3.0 and it's uh, designed for 3.1 or uh, previous USB connection. And you want to use the, the 3.0 because if you're playing games you're going to have to use that speed and the 3.1 would be even better if your PC has it. So the two things you absolutely need to do are number one, you need to format it and you want to format it in the should be the default the NTFS file system that Windows would normally be formatted as and then you need to share it with the main laptop, the main CPU unit. Um, until you do that you're going to run into trouble with communication between the devices so I will briefly go over the, those two things so after you plug it in, there it is there. Alright, I'm going to go to my, just start with the local C drive, um, actually. That's not the best way. best way is to go to my PC or this PC. We'll go to this PC. And it automatically will show up as drive E. So you simply want to hit the properties there, and you want to go under uh, tools, uh, hardware sharing. All right, so this is critical here for network file and folder sharing. E, it is shared now, and but I had to click on this button here and allow it to share with the HP 2570P which is my laptop that is absolutely critical and as far as formatting uh, in the past it has been very simple and uh, it was just a matter of let me see if I can get this to show you the formatting option it was simply a matter of going under see okay it's simply a matter of going under the first menu when you right click and format is here so I'll click on that I'm not going to format it but I'm going to show you this window here the NTFS is default for Windows make sure that's set up correctly and you want to choose quick format and it will show you the capacity of the drive I'm not doing that now, I just wanted to demonstrate it. So, <clears throat> let's say you want to install a game with Steam since that's the most popular uh, PC vending machine here these days. I uh, just go under settings and downloads. Alright. Steam content, Steam library folders is first choice. And as you can see, I have two installation directories. Um, the first is, these are on my hard drive, as you can see, see. I have three games installed there. And I just successfully installed my first game on the external drive. But that was because I allowed the, the sharing between a laptop and the external drive. I enabled that as I showed you previously. This is a big game, 75 gigabytes, and this is the game it's, that's, I have it up and running. It's uh, Dragon Age uh, Inquisition, I believe. So you just simply need to manually uh, install the game where you want it, and in my case it was on Drive E. So I'll close that. 
I want to go back and do a demonstration of an online game. It should come up as full screen. And this will be a demonstration of running through an external drive. And I also have an external graphics processor unit running. So this is total little custom build here. Fired up and see how it works here. Wow, that's different. Okay, I, apparently I'm in tactical mood. Which way, Nathan? We're clear for the moment. Well done. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. These are my dudes talking back here. All right, we're gonna go full speed into that door. Open. And as you can see, these graphics are uh, excellent for what my desire is, which is just to play games smooth enough that they can be enjoyed. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to show a little bit of graphics abilities here. Ah, here they come. So my specifics you are. Chancellor Roderick. This is I have know the B plus adapter and on top of that I have a I NVIDIA to take this criminal to to face execution. Or the external me. graphics card. You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. And you I'm are running it through the VGA connection, the uh, which has been very stable we serve the most holy since the last Windows update a couple them. weeks ago. Justinia is uh, dead. When I boot up and I have my Just external monitor turned on, actually even if it's off, uh, the external monitor will fire up. I have selected the external monitor as my primary display. I'm running 16 gigabytes RAM. Isn't closing the breach the more pressing issue? You brought this on us in the first place! So I suppose that, that's about it. Call her a so trick. as you can see, the Our game is, uh, here is hopeless. We can stop this it's running it's at, at a high graphics setting right now. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with and, all your soldiers. Uh, we must get to the temple. The it's the quickest route, but not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. Uh, these external SSD drives we are not expensive. The prices are coming down. And my risky. drive is 250 gigabytes. Now, before more lives um, are I think it was new and it was purchased uh, at a very low cost on eBay. How do you think we should proceed? Let's take the mountain path. Use the mountain path. Work together. You all know what's at stake. All right. Liliana, we'll finish bring this everyone scene left up. in the valley. And everyone. On your head. Hope you enjoyed this uh, informative tutorial, and I hope you enjoy your games. This is Ghostwatcher out. <laughs>